Omnisphere's browser is a sophisticated search engine, and there are a lot of factors involved in saving and managing patches. Now, to start with, I've got a default instance called up here, and there's nothing loaded in. And you'll notice when I hit my keyboard that we're going to hear a sound. And that's because the default instantiation of Omnisphere has a saw square fat wave in layer A, layer B is empty. So that's the initialized state. Now, under the utility menu here, we have the option of either initializing or clearing patches and multis. Now, the difference is when we initialize it, it's going to revert to this state. When we clear it, it clears everything away and we have absolutely no sounds or routings. When I hit my keyboard, we hear nothing versus if I initialize it, it puts it in that default state where that saw square fat oscillator waveform is loaded in. Now, when we're working with multis, we have similar options here where we can initialize multis, meaning have them revert to a default state where there's some routings set up in the mixer, some aux ends and that kind of thing, or we can clear it where we remove all the routings. So we can initialize or clear or save multis and patches. And similarly with layers, when we're working within patches, we can initialize or clear the layer. Initialize meaning revert to a default state or clear removing everything. Now let's look at saving patches. I'm going to sort of start with an overview of it. I'm going to call up one of the factory sounds, analog drama, for example. Now let's say I want to modify this patch and I'm going to save it. So let's just make some modifications. I'll turn on that granular synthesis, which is nice. Okay, so let's say I like that and I want to save that version of it. Now I'm going to close this up and I'm going to go to the utility menu and go save patch. Now we're prompted with a file directory and let's look at where this is prompting us to. We're in the Spectrosonics folder, Steam, Omnisphere, Settings Library, Patches, and this works the same when you're saving multis except it's the multis directory, Patches, and User. Now in here, I can save it to any of these pre-existing categories, or I can create my own, and I'm going to create a new folder in there, and I'm going to call it EK Sounds. So within here, that's where I'm going to save the sound, and just to identify it, I'll call it EK Analog Drama. I'm going to hit Save, and I'm going to get prompted with the Edit Tags window, and I'm going to just bypass this for a moment. We'll look at that in a separate video, and hit Save, and it'll be saved with all the default tags. And let's look at what's happened in the browser here. Now we have all Spectrosonics in the directory here, and I can go to all, but notice that there's the new user category at the bottom. Let's go to all, and as soon as I do that, this new category appears here, EK Sounds, and if we look in there, we'll see that there's my patch, and I can go to user like that and display only user folders if that's what I want to do, or I can go to all Spectrosonics and it'll hide that category. So I'm going to go back to all so that we're seeing everything, and I'm going to close this up, and let's say I want to modify this patch. Maybe I want to change some of the filter on here. Okay, so I like it like that, and I want to save this. Now, instead of going through the whole save dialog box again and the tags, I can go save patch quick, and it'll allow me to just overwrite this patch. So now I've saved that analog drama with EK in front of it with these new settings. Now back to the browser here, let's look at what this looks like in the Finder, and let's say I want to delete this. I'm going to go to the Finder, and here we can see here the EK Sounds folder that I've created, and I'm going to manually delete it in the Finder, and we're going to go back to Omnisphere, and let's just change patches for a moment. And I'm going to hit the Refresh button, and you'll see now that this EK Sounds folder disappears, even though we're in the All category, it's gone, and so is the User directory at the bottom. So that's a little quick start in managing patches and multis, and we'll continue with more in the next video and look at editing tags.